Hi, my name is Terry Pecora. I live in Cold Spring Harbor, New York. I, um, my, the name of my kennel is Bedlam and I breed Portuguese water dogs and this is my 30th year of being involved with Portuguese water dogs. There are records of it going back to 1295 where a monk mentions them it, about a, a, a furry dog saving a man overboard on a boat and um, they were used on Portuguese fishing vessels for ship to ship and ship to shore communication, um, retrieving fallen fishing gear, uh, um, herding fish into the nets, keeping them in the nets, and swimming, you know, actually long distances. They're very strong, muscular dogs and can actually be almost unaided from the sea getting back into the boat. But as, as you know, radio communications and things started, the, the breed became almost extinct back in the 70s. Very intelligent breed, and using their brains almost tires them out as much as running five miles, and you can, tr training is an awesome thing for them. Portuguese water dogs have um, hair, they don't shed, and, and people have allergies to dogs, or some, some do, and, and they tend not to have an allergy to a dog with hair as they would with a dog with fur and the dander and the double coats, one which is curly and one which is wavy. And the wavy can have more, more or less striations, and the curly is not as tight curly as, say, like a poodle, it, it's, a, it's a softer curl. But um, you can tell the minute they're born what they are going to be for their life. And there are black Portuguese and brown Portuguese. And we do have some white now in the breed. But the black is the most common. 